So we're here at the uh, Iowa City Public Access TV station with Renee Payne, who is the director of the TV station here in Iowa City. And we're looking at a, um, what is this? This is an Amiga computer, and the program that's running right now is Scala. And this is our public service announcement display area. So people will turn in public service announcements. We have these forms printed out. We can. I think we actually copied that off of you, and we have a form very similar really? that people are supposed to use. But and they fill those out and then turn them in to us. And Carrie Stockstead is our public service announcement coordinator. So she will take this information and create new screens that reflect what these people want to say on their public service announcement. Can you be kind of artistic on this? Definitely. Okay. Sometimes people bring in pictures and things that, and now we can scan those and actually we just got to scan oh, them. We're so great. excited. Wow. But there are a lot of different backgrounds in this program. Like this, for example, is a, is a background you can choose. And there's a lot of variety. I just think it's a great way. Now, I'm an artist. That's mm -hmm. before I started doing this. Mm -hmm. So this interests me. And um, this is what the public sees right. when they're not seeing programming. So that's important to me that we try and achieve a new scrolling system, something like this. Mm -hmm. So Richard and I have come to Iowa City to check this out, mm -hmm. yeah. ask you some questions. Mm -hmm. Sure. Well, I can tell you that getting this Scala program and up and creating these kinds of public service announcements has greatly enhanced people's receptivity to you know the the channel in general and just you know wanting to watch the PSAs. I mean, people right like to They're sit more fun and to go watch. through them. Enjoyable. Right. How long have you had this system? We've probably had this system, oh, at least a couple of years now. And, and I used to, we used to have Deluxe Paint, which was okay and pretty versatile, but it was very, you, you had to, to create different lines and things like that. You had to re, you had to, it wasn't like you could just type and it would go to the next line. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you'd have to place everything on the page. It was mi much more labor intensive. So let's paint. Where did you find out about this system and d were there any other systems that were looked at? I think, I think probably we researched different systems and this one seemed to be one that a lot of different places we're using. We probably first heard about this at some place like the Alliance for Community Media National Conference, mm -hmm. which is held each year. I'm going to just check the program that's on right now, because I heard it start and then stop. So we're watching these um, this information flash on with different backgrounds, different printing. This is real. This is what's going out. Over the Iowa City TV. So public can uh, get us information. Uh, if we had a scanner, we could actually scan their posters. Um, if not, you give us information and we could create uh, informational posters that you see flash on and off. We can do a lot better job of putting more information on. More right, readable. Right, right now we just have the blue screen and the white lettering rolls around and around and around. That I'm very careful about because every time I get in the computer I'm afraid I'm going to lose it all. <laughs> Which, uh, next time we lose it, it will probably be for good. It's like a photograph of a, it's kind of an animal. Boy, Richard, I'd love to have this system. We're going to have to work on this. Mm -hmm. have video production club, monthly video production training, hands-on practice, learning to work on crew. They have these classes, I think she said once a month, and, um, 
some of the classes have up to 20 people in them. It's, uh, they get a lot of programming this way. Okay, here's the problem. This? Possibly this summer, uh, they mentioned a children's or a young person's class, like a week or two week program that um, sounds interesting. Fairfield Public Access was also uh, formed, created much like Iowa City's um, in their guidelines and in a lot of the ways that it's set up. The Iowa City Public Access Station uh, paved the way for us. That's been happening lately. Okay. So Renee is back. <laughs> There's always a down to the second crisis. Yeah. Yeah. Understand? Yeah. I mean, TV, the whole business of TV, even though sometimes it looks sort of flawless, it's... Whenever I'm watching the big channels and I mm -hmm. see something accidentally come on in the mm -hmm. middle of something else, I'm just like, ha, 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 ha. I'm so glad that happens to someone else. I think it happens to everybody. Okay. Can, can, do you have like the, you know, the box or whatever for Scala to be able to show us? As far as it's, you know, it looks sort of like the program. Yeah, that's right. And this is to what, work what, with what, what are the system requirements? Oh I mean, boy, for, you're asking for, for like the totally what? wrong person. You know, okay. For the Amiga family of computers, requires three MB RAM and hard drive. What does that mean? Megabytes. Three megabytes RAM and hard drive. And that's okay. it, it's the multimedia program, Scala multimedia. Program. So you were telling that you did research other um, systems or programs, and it came down to this because mm -hmm. lots of public access stations were using this. Right, and the library channel they experimented with a different kind of public service announcement mm -hmm. displayed just not very long ago and it didn't work out for them and they now I think are using skill I, I believe also over at the government channel I mean it's like it's kind of like we got this and found that a lot of people even here were using it or were familiar with it or knew that it about its reputation and and so I and kind of we found that a lot of access centers are now, using it. We have some concern on our committee that perhaps the Amiga is a system or a name that's going to be out of business or um, what I want to say, we might be taking more of a chance if we go with an Amiga. So there's that that thinking. Is that anything at all that the we need to... difference between Amigas and PCs in general as well as for the graphics capabilities and whatnot, you know, is it better to go with the Amiga system? I've heard, like I think I've had. heard Amiga is definitely better graphic wise. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it depends what your really your main priority for these computers yes. are. If it's for word processing or if you, if it's like for multi-functional things, the Amiga is pretty much a video computer, you know, and it's a I don't think it's going to be defunct. You know, I, I think that it went through the whole sort of Commodore thing. Mm -hmm. do, went do, through. do you have a local... You, where did you get the Amiga Did you system? go through ECS for this? We, I believe we went through a business here in, in Coralville called Hawkeye Communications. Okay. And I, I, I've got their phone number. Yeah. Those. And his name is John the guy who who sort of runs the show out there. And he's been really helpful and got us set up and we deal with him and we have an account with him. And also there's a computer store right across the street that has, sometimes it has different things that we might need like m mice, you know, for the, you know, the just the sort of the hardware part. What are, when we were looking at this a little uh, tape that was kind of a, a commercial for the system, what all do you have in the components that you use? You said you just got a scanner, but you didn't have that for a while. Right, but but we haven't even, I mean, that's so new that we really haven't okay. played around with 
import, you know, putting pictures onto a computer disc and then importing them here. Where, I mean, we've got quite a bit big script, and what I can do is just show you, just really simply, like. I'm not the computer expert, and I don't intend to be. I hire people who know how to do it, and that's kind of, I mean, thank goodness they do when they're, they, they like doing it and all that. I do know some basic things which I can okay. show you. Let's, I mean, let's see that. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty easy. Like, if I were going to create a script, it's, I would just, it's running right now. You can see how it's running. You can yeah, shut the monitor you can kind off. Of give us a running. Okay, you can shut the monitor off, but it, the program's still running. So at night we shut the monitor off, and we turn it on. It should always just keep running, you know. And when we need to update the information or edit the information or whatever, you just hit the escape button here. Ooh, that's what I did with the other. <laughs> and right now we're maxing this this program out but it'll, it'll still let us you know, do what we want to do. And we just need to, I mean, you could, RAM or just more memory could go on and on and on. You could, you could spend your whole entire budget buying memory for your computer, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you have to just kind of decide what, what is a good amount of, of memory to get to start with, you know, how, how many things you're gonna- What, what are the- minimum requirements or what would you have for this station um, but the place in Kansas City that I checked out you know, they had suggested like a 520 megabyte you know, hard disk drive and <laughs> suction see the, all of that means nothing you, you know to the me. technical things we didn't get into down there so it's like how how would we determine what we need. What we need. Well, I think that's where this, your person this like John okay, comes in. You sense. say, we'd like a, a, an Amiga system with a Scala multimedia program, and we want, you know, it's it's really don't need too much. You know, we want to run like maybe a dozen or, you know, t a mm -hmm. 20, 25 PSAs. And, and the Are you is, limited to a number of PSAs here? I, I'm not really sure. Okay. I think right now, we're at a, a a level where if we wanted to do maybe another one, it might allow us to do it if the background was simple and the mm -hmm. text was simple. Okay. You can make really elaborate backgrounds. And if you import things from people's disks as mm -hmm. a background, that's going to take up a lot more memory than if you just type something out on the screen and run it. So it, it guess it's kind of how complicated or simple mm -hmm. you are. You can have a pretty simple script that you can run maybe, I don't know, 50, 60 PSAs, or you could have a lot of backgrounds, a lot of different text, and you can maybe run like, you know, 15, 20. Mm -hmm. how, how well does it show up? I mean, this is a nice computer screen and all, right. but for the 70 year old couple at mm -hmm. home mm -hmm. with a Philco, 15 year old right. television set. Will that show up as well? You know, TVs are all different. And if you've got a great resolution television set, it's going to look as good as it looks on this. Lots of times, what we run into trouble with is the computer monitor screen is pretty big. And if you cram a lot of information into the screen, mm -hmm. you might cut off some text. You might see it here, but not on your TV set then. What we do is we have people watching it on different sets in different parts of the of town. They let you know, and they say, "Hey, I can't read that bottom line," and simply you just go in and you move it up or you take out. You know, I something. have a lady that calls me all the time. And, right, um, tells me when my spelling's wrong. Right, <laughs> see, it's, it's I love awful. it. I wouldn't know yeah. if she didn't do it. Show us. And yeah, I'll show you. I mean, there are different types of text you can use to to. Sh I mean that show up better. That just mm -hmm. are right. Are so better. Because where I wanted to show Susan. Cause, he cause doesn't I want me to get too artistic. Yeah. Right. Okay. So we'll go <laughs> through. No, no, no orange is on black. And purple right. And exactly. Black. I mean that's uh, not gonna. See, I've seen that. Happen. Okay. I'm just gonna kneel down here just for a second. But you can you can create a script like this, and it's pretty. I mean it's pretty easy. You just would create a new page. Like let's try and do this, even though 
we're not going to save it probably, okay. but let's pretend we got a PSA and it was about Youth Homes of Iowa City. So we're going to make a new page. It, it, this thing comes up, which is all of the different things that are running now on the on the screen or on the program. But you can pick a background. Oh, cool! So you you pick a back you pick this background menu, and you wait a minute while the okay now it gives you all of these different options for backgrounds mm. and you can pick like a nature one and if you want to just look at it and see what it's going to look like you just hit show it will show you that's a dark nighttime sky can you see it yeah the outline okay let's let's pick up <laughs> one like this and now there's another one and they're kind of you know really different and let's go to uh one of a kind of a fun looking phone you could write you know mm. this meeting is happening for more information call mm -hmm. and so you you have like all of these different options so you can pick the background like here's here's one of snow let's look at snow since that's there's snow that's <laughs> a skull on it now it says animations what does that get you that's probably like over here. Mm -hmm. You can you can put. Let's try it. You might be able to to. Let's just try a, a numbers animation and show it. Oh, there. I know we're putting you on the spot here, and we oh, should that's be okay. talking it's to someone like, like Celsius to answer a lot of these questions. But it's kind of, it's nice to talk to somebody who isn't a professional computer dealer because sometimes no. they, they, they talk beyond what I'm right. understanding. Right. I mean, I'm kind of just playing around but, with this but, right like, now. Just because we'd like to share this to like our ways and means right. people and such to be able to show them. That what just somebody does. can do this who doesn't, you know, but, isn't but, like... But this will be a cost-effective bulletin board representing the city of Fairfield. Right, right. Because it, it's 24-hour-a-day advertising for the city right, and right. the community. Right. That is. Okay, let's say we like this background. This is a fabric background, okay? So it, you've seen it, then you just pick it. Okay like that background that's the background it's going to give us now now you've got this is the the text part and you can pick different fonts mm. and you can also just look at those so let's let's look at a font that might work let's try franklin c they have different sizes but we can show it before we even start using it okay that we can make it bigger or smaller Okay, let's try, there's there's some fun fonts like, oh that, can't find that one, all right, it must not be loaded in there right at this moment. We'll try, let's see, what is one of my favorite ones? I like, is this one I like? Hmm, that's pretty nice, but there's, how many times a week is this updated? This is, is probably daily? updated, yeah. I think Carrie checks on it daily just to make sure that things have, you know, if they, if new if they're over. ones come in or if they're over or I'm trying to find, there's some I know. I mean, this is a pretty readable. Mm -hmm. Okay, l let's just take this as an example. So if you like that, you just hit okay. Now, what I like to do is um, this is going to give us a white front. See, it's so the front of the letter is going to be white, which probably won't show up on this. Really, it, it does yeah. okay. So you just type out, and the nice thing about this is it's kind of like a typewriter or, or a word processor in the fact that if it gets to the end of a line and it, it do, has to do a word wrap, you know, it'll just go to the next. You know, okay. the next line and everything will be preserved and all that. With ours, it doesn't. If you go too far, they overlap and right and then you can go back up here and you can place the cursor in different places like if we want to move the a a down you hmm. can do this and then you can bring that up to that line so it's kind of it's a lot like word processing then what you can do is you can highlight a 
a, a letter in a line and you can say, okay, I want this whole line to be outlined in black. Mm. There. And then you can do a shadow. You can make a shadow. Let's make a purple shadow. Like that. And, you know, so you can do easy, easily you can make things look pretty nice. And just this part by, of it's all instantly. It's not a lot of waiting around. Right. It all happens pretty quickly. And then you can center things in the center or you can make things bold, you know, or do, italicize. Do, do affect only the, the line? The line or, that or you're on, can, yeah. Can, can you affect individual, like, youth? Or whatever can you do change just the word youth you you can do that you probably what you want to do and i'm not sure if there's an easier way but let, let's say we want to change division just for the heck of it because we're right here it would be you know you'd want it to be its own line because if we were up here but but now let's say we want it to be a different kind of thing altogether like a different color so we want the the front of it now to be oh like this color mm -hmm. okay now that word is is different okay now we can move that word just by clicking and holding that mm. button down okay now see see what the deal is it's on that line is on this so it's always going to stay in the center so if you want to be able to move it anywhere you just click that off and then you move it you can move it up here pretty easily make it you know mm-hmm and then, and then this A is separate too, so now you can move the A everywhere you want, except also that one. Now you can put that wherever yeah. you want. And so it's, it's really a user-friendly situation. So you don't know of any other system that seems this usable for no, this purpose? No, I, I would say as far as having the reputation this has and the amount of, of users who are using this, I would say this is definitely the way to go. Mm -hmm. And then you're, let's say you're done with this, this page, you just hit OK and then OK and it would add it to the script. See now let okay. us add that to the script because it's a pretty, you know, it's a pretty easy page, not a whole lot of happening there. You can, you can now make a transition for it by clicking on this box. This allows you to do some creative transition like a fade or a, you know, a kind of a blocky transition type thing. And you can look at this transition too and have it show you the transition. So there's the one before it and that's how it transitions like into the other thing. So you can do that and then you can make it so if we like that transition, we hit OK there. Then you can make it last on the screen. Right now, it's wait. it will wait for a mouse control to go to the next screen. You can click on that, and you can just make it last. Like if it's something that you need people to read for 20 seconds, mm -hmm. then you just go like that. It changes it there, and you're all set. So that's as easy as it is. Then you just simply save it. And I'm going to just go as far as I can be without overwriting the script. And you just keep hitting OK and OK. And now it says it already exists. Do we want to overwrite the previous script? A lot of times, you know, I mean, in most mm -hmm. cases, we'd say yes. And then it would just save that new script, whatever changes you made. Mm -hmm. But now we don't want to do that. So we'll just hit no here. And it'll run. What I'm going to do is delete this this particular screen because we don't really want to save that now. It's kind of like your choice of white right. are basically from the previous to this one as opposed to, you know, but you're not telling it to go from this one to the next one. It, it's sort of like a one-time... Right, because you can pick different white. ones for each, yeah. So, 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 so your first item can you insert that, these that in where you want them everything goes from that so. right yeah i mean yeah it's a little it's a little tricky to know like where what this wipe is you know what i mean because that's the very first one so it starts here mm -hmm. and then it this and then this is how it transitions into this one is this wipe right here and then that's how it transitions into this one 
And you can move them around. You could do like this. Okay. And that's how easy it is to move them. That is such a nice feature. It's mm -hmm. like, you know, so you can take this one. Plus, here's another really nice feature is if this is if this is specifically for a day and you don't want it to run yet or it's it's old and you just don't want to delete it and you're not sure mm -hmm. if you know you put a lot of work into it you might want to save mm -hmm. the background and the text and all that kind of thing you go to this this little square and you can turn the page off Ooh. and that is all you do you just turn the page off and now it's, it's off. No, it won't in run. In the memory, but you don't. It's have in it the on memory. There. It's saved. You can go back to it. You can just change the dates or whatever to update it. But for now, it won't run. And it, when you want to turn it back on, you just go here and you turn it on, and you hit OK, and there it's on. It's part of the script again. So that's that's really nice. And you can change all these features, you know, separately. Like, I I was watching this maybe, and it it didn't last long enough I didn't get to read it so I want to change it to be like 25 seconds you know mm -hmm. so you can do that pretty easily I'll, I'll put it back to 20 for now but now does this take up just one person's job here or this is not even a person's job she does this as well as what helping else? people so but see she comes in on Sunday to do some of the PSA work when we're close to the public and then she can also load the decks mm -hmm. during that time that she's here so kind of you know, we sort of make good use of her being able to do this and also loading the, the decks. But she does need to work on this when we have programming on. So like on Sunday, mm. she could come right. in at 3 when the programming starts, have all the decks loaded, and then get on this and work for a couple hours updating it and things like that. But So this is something that has to be done while the programming right. is running. Right. So now if we're going to run this, let's just run through a couple of things, what it can do. I mean, it can do all kinds of different things like this. Here's our programming schedule for the week. And if I wanted to, I could get into this page and edit out, you know, take that part out. So there's just, we could start with Tuesday or, and then it goes through the, the whole week. So we've got, and I'm speeding it up just a little bit now mm -hmm. because Otherwise, it'll stay on these for a little while so people can read through them. And then there are different, here's our mission statements, so we're able to put that up here. Mm -hmm. And then here's just kind of like a little thing about what it is and what to look for. And I have to say that um, I've seen this in copied some of this too. Good. I mean, that's kind of what it's all Listening about. Listening to the voice of your neighbor and um, community com communication. Right, and, uh, right. And so, you know, we can put like news and see how this stays the same, but this part changes. Oh, yeah. You can do that, which is really kind of a neat thing. So you have a sort of consistent look. And then we put our workshop schedule up there. Some of these are easier to read than others. And what it is, is you go home, you watch them on your TV, you're like, I can't read that. Right. So, you so know, then it's it. like, this is way better. Okay, so let's make it, let's uh, make it better. That, that's the one thing I've seen, like the Thames and whatnot, they and seem then, to have 500 colors right. to choose from. But you from, like to and, uh, and they try them out. Right, them all. right. <laughs> and then something like this catches people's eye because, you know, it's it moves. You know, I mean, it's a sort of a static... So with this system, are there lots of access stations showing the same type of thing because they're getting the same backgrounds, backgrounds and, and everything? It's funny. I mean, um, or are people you can kind of tell? That you can yeah, I think a little of both. Like I could go to I went to Bloomington, Indiana, and I turned in their tuned into their access channel, and they have Scala too. And it's like, oh, I know that background, you know, I know that. But it's still, it's like this. You know, it's really pretty. There are yeah, different colors, different. Color. Right. You know, you Everything wouldn't really necessarily choose from from know. This, yeah. This should be effective. I mean, when you use the the background, like that phone we saw. Mm -hmm. You know, some of those that are pretty specific to this mm -hmm. program, you, you would you would know it. But you can make your own backgrounds and then save them, which is another. You know, nice one of feature. the things that the this Mission Electronics in Kansas City showed us was. Uh, you can have a CD-ROM 
drive and do photo CDs that mm -hmm. you create. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, you can do a lot. I think it's it's very versatile system and and you notice that different things came in different ways here and you mm -hmm. can you can make different lines you know have their own transitions into a into a picture and we do have some there must be kind of a big picture or something coming up here We have a big demand, I think, for Fairfield and the community announcements. We get a lot of them. Um, it's and really I think, become and a I think community especially service. to have like a scanner. Um, do you know how much a scanner would cost? To a use? scanner is going to cost about that. That one we bought, I think, was about seven, eight hundred dollars. Mm. Okay, now I'm wondering why we're kind of stuck on okay let's go from that one you can also show a certain grouping of of yeah. that of PSAs and that so there's we're out of memory. We're kind of at the maximum, you know, I mean, with all of the different pictures and the different wipes and the different things. Have you ever increased it since you purchased it? Yeah, we have added more memory. So, but just to get started. Okay, let's just go. Oh, we need to delete what we just added in here or something. We're just going to leave it running and well, thank you for showing us this this is something I really wanted to find out about since I don't understand these systems I want to get it from the people that do and so I'm taking your recommendation seriously I, I think you know and then if let, let's say you're working on it and you have a problem mm -hmm. you could call us you know that's kind of the nice thing about knowing other places have things too mm -hmm. is Carrie has so much experience with this and can make recommendations that exist outside of somebody trying to sell you something. You know what I mean? Right. It's like, because we kind of know what's worked for the Access Center here and, mm -hmm. and, and sort of grown with it. And somebody who's selling just kind of sometimes wants to sell you the, right, the most right. stuff they can. But I think John's really a good guy. He, he would listen to you and and be able to say, well, you know, maybe you should start out with this or that, and then you get it there, and you're like, how do we set this up, or whatever, and and you could always call us, because I'm sure we've done a lot of that mm -hmm. around here. And Iowa City isn't quite as far as Kansas City. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, I, I mean, mm -hmm. really, I, I did use, like, Deluxe Paint, and this, this thing, this program just seems to be, it runs well, and it's very user-friendly, and I think our producers, if you were to pull them and ask them how what, how they feel it is to work with, they would probably say they really like it. I mean, I'm, I'm guessing, but I've been here over enough time to know that there was a lot of frustration in the past, and they were looking for something easier and more versatile, and I think, I think that's really great. Well, thank you. I appreciate you. Sure. I'm hoping this and this. I'm just going to pan around and kind of okay. show some of this. Yeah, this is the collection of videotapes that are used at the station. We have an editing station. This is super VHS type equipment. an Amiga system here.
This is the video dubbing setup. We have two Super VHS decks. You can transfer from one tape to another. Yeah, I think this is perfect. And this allows on the monitors. No, to add, I think what's nice about this is There's the other editing station. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't take a lot to enhance the look of it, you know, and to incorporate other things to it without trying to piece together all these different programming systems and end up with something like focus that we have now. Right. It's so tricky to work and you have to, you know. Mm -hmm. And because we are in the station, we are in the presentation of the public and that's what we see a lot of time. This is the TV studio portion of the first of the Iowa City Public Access Channel. The three cameras that they use are Super VHS, which gives better production quality to the tapes. Notice the professional dollies that they sit on tripods. View cameras, viewers, and headphone sets. This is the portable production unit that they have that people can check out. And they have a mixer, switching <coughs> unit, so you can have two or three cameras going at once and switch between them. Video monitors tape deck and the microphone mixer and it's all part of this one box that's been put together you can see all the cabling in the back you also have a lighting grid with the different lights for the backdrops. A little out of focus there. We have a blue background now. You can put chairs up there and have discussion groups and whatnot. It'll look very professional. This is the work storage area. with our visit.